Hello, and welcome to a special bonus edition of, I don't know, Crossword Robert or something. We're not going to do a New York Times crossword today. Maybe I need to, I need to rebrand, maybe. <laughs> anyway, this video is in response to a comment by Raheel Rai. Shout out to you, Raheel Rai. Thanks for watching. Who asked about getting into cryptics. And I think that's kind of hard if you're American, because uh, in the UK, the standard crossword format, as far as I know, is the cryptic crossword. And so if you go on the Guardian website, uh, and you go to puzzles somewhere, uh, crosswords, right? There's like tons of different kinds of crosswords that you can play for free on the Guardian website. Uh, different level difficulties. So quick is easier than cryptic. Cryptic is even easier, right? So there's a lot. Some of these are standard style crosswords as well. Um, the thing about doing Guardian crosswords though is that they use British language and British idioms that are not necessarily familiar to, to an American English speaker. So these can be sort of difficult for that reason, even though I think they're quite good. Um, the New York Times, of course, posts cryptics occasionally, uh, and those are some of the ones that um, I've been doing on Want It All. And it's under the variety puzzles, of course, uh, here. But you can see that they post, I don't know, a handful per year. I guess there have been three, there have been three this year. So if we're on pace, it'll be about six a year or so. And those are very good. I, I would consider those sort of medium level cryptics. Um, I can just about do one by myself, I think. Uh, the, the more popular ones that we do on Want It All are Wall Street Journal ones. I think they post about once a month, usually by Emily Cox and Henry Rathbon. And these, I think, are extremely good. Um, but they all involve sort of an extra wrinkle that makes them difficult to do solo. That's why I do them on Want It All, because uh, they're a little bit more challenging. And the archives go back years, so you can you can find them online, and they're free. So that's a huge benefit. Uh, we just did this one on the last one at all. You can even see the, see the solution if it's like late enough, right? So you, you can just print this out, think about this for a while. You can also play along while watching one at all. Um, but the most interesting thing I think, if you're a newbie, is that the New Yorker recently restarted publishing a weekly cryptic, um, and these are more beginner difficulty level, uh, but the thing with the New Yorker is you need a subscription, except they allow you to see a couple of free articles per month, including the cryptic crosswords. So I did the first one, um, let's see, three weeks ago. So that's, I don't know, roughly at the end of June, 2021, they announced their all new weekly cryptic crossword. Before that, they were publishing old ones. Um, and so I did the first one, but I think the second one has come out. And I think I should still have some, <laughs> some free clicks left on the New Yorker this month. So, let me see. Yeah, I don't think I've done this one. I did do... Oh, I didn't do this one either. Um, I, th I think I just did the first one. Um, so let me maybe... Let's do the let's, let's do the most recent one because I know I haven't done that one. So July 11th. Let's see if I can get on for free. Looks like I can. And you can see there... Oh, yeah. I'm still on a free article for the month. Um, it's a pretty smallish grid, pretty friendly. So let's see if I can do this live on stream, not on stream, live on video. I have to start my daily crossword video in 40 minutes. So I need to do this in under 40 minutes, but usually I can. So let's see. Old man with a clue, confused common folk. Um, okay, it's a bit long. Split an A and W, oh gosh. Split an AW sitting in Sunbeam. Um, split an AW. So it's. Mm. Okay, let's just keep going. Reveal live after awkward ad lib. So I think this could be an anagram of ad lib, and then the definition could be revealed. And you have to add something meaning live or live. Okay, well, 
unopened, venues strangely succeed. Strangely can often mean to anagram something. Um, ah, so this is in Sue. So unopened means you don't include the V in venues, and then you strangely is to anagram it. And if you, something succeeds one after another, it ensues. Okay, there's our first one. Uh, Jero. There's a, I think there's an Al Jero, right? Jero who sings to soprano choir members. So this will be altos, right? So Al Jero. Uh, so it's Ro who sings, that's Al, two, and then it's just two, and soprano is S, in it, like SATV, so alto is here, there we go. Many new voters nervous, moving back to the middle. Um, any new, new voters could be teens or something. Nervous, could mean to anagram, moving back to the middle, not sure. Anti-theft features aid the church. Hmm. So I'm thinking maybe the definition is anti-theft features like locks. It's kind of like flocks without an F. Sure. New hair tool rake. Okay. Wretched dupe now confessed. Ah, uh, so wretched dupe now could be to anagram dupe now. Um, owned up. Owned up. Nice. Okay. 5 2. Most well rounded fruit fly, e.g. Go for the downs. Least colorful pastel mixed. Uh, palest. That's just an anagram of pastel. California baseball player takes bow after heading off for Miami game. Seems like this is going to be the name of a California baseball player. I don't know it yet. Fabric pattern is profitable. Jeans maker announced. I want to say something like Lee said, but hmm, feather pattern. I don't know. <laughs> Categorizes Bell as off key. Off could be to anagram. Nick's harboring old Greek city's merchant vessels. Seems like this should be an anagram, or this should the definition should be merchant vessels. Hmm. And <laughs> a survey is beginning to elicit positive response. Hmm. So survey is beginning could mean an S at the start. This could be plebeians. Does it fit? No, it doesn't. But then to elicit, so it's gonna be ask. Hmm. I'm not kidding. One utters crazily. So crazily often means to anagram. Uh, and utters here has six letters, and one could be an L or an I. It could just mean, oh, so it's true. That's just, you. the one is an I, and then you anagram utters to, uh oh, how come I can't type? Ah, okay. Stan the Man provides musical number before the ball game. Uh, 
It's a long clue for the six letter film. Isn't Stan the Man Stan Musial? Use toe inappropriately. That can be to anagram use toe. Or walk to the door. Set out? No. See out. See out. If you walk someone to the door, you see them out. Nice. Head of family cut turkey. Uh, like flop. Head of family is an F to cut, like to lop off your hair or something, and turkey can be a flop maybe. I'm not so positive. This seems like it's going to end in est, right? Most well-rounded. Plumpest? Uh, so that's pest and lump? This does fit. Let's pencil it in. <laughs> I'll leave that blank. Ah, uh, this is gonna be Anthem, and Anthem is just sitting inside of Stan the Man here. Oops. Okay, Anthem. Nice. What about this one? New hair tool. So this is gonna be an anagram of hair tool, I guess. Oh, Lothero. Like a rake is like a. Oh, Lothario, rather. <coughs> a rake is like a. What, like a promiscuous person? I still don't know this. Something bull? Oh, Miami game? Some kind of bull? Takes bow after heading off. I see, so it seems pretty likely that this bow is going to be this bow, and we need to find a... Uh... Oh, it's probably Angel? California baseball player should be taking bow and heading off. So heading off first, then bow inside of a California baseball player, meaning Miami game, and it's some kind of bowl. The orange bowl? Let's see why. <laughs> um... I'm not sure. I don't get it yet. <laughs> Many new voters. Ah, so I think it really is teens. Moving back to the middle. So many new voters is the definition here. Nervous. Moving back can mean to do it backwards. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, where do we have some crosses? Anti-theft features aid the church. Tithe. Ah, uh, yeah. So there's a tithe inside of anti-theft. It means to aid the church. Okay. Something ships, right? Nick's harboring old Greek cities. Uh, polis? Oh, or it's going to be Plato? Nick. Nick could be a lot of things, or it could be a verb. Oh, we're making some progress, this is good. Revealed live after awkward ad lib. Laid bare. Yeah, so you anagram ad lib to get laid B, and then live, like they live, they are, so it's after an awkward ad lib, the late bear. Surveys, ah, uh, beginning to elicit pause response. Maybe it's not an S here. I don't know if the definition is surveys or positive response. Could be eyes, I guess. Hmm. Fabric pattern is profitable. Profitable jeans maker announced. Okay. 
and mm, this could be paisley ah i see so the fabric pattern is paisley is profitable as pays the jeans maker is lee and it sounds like pays lee that's the announcer saying it's a sounds like okay and categorizes bell as off key so is this an anagram of bell as labels yeah so um bell as off means to anagram bell as categorizes means to be late means means labels but where's the key oh off key just means to do it off key means is the clue to anagram there okay split an an aw sitting in a sunbeam oh, okay it's uh ran away so it's un aw inside of ray which is a sunbeam and it means to split this is going to be eyes i think but i haven't figured out ah okay pause response is yes ah eyes like this i see yeah so to s if you survey if you eye the room you're surveying it maybe and it's the meaning to elicit is an e and the positive response is yes okay this is cargo ships i guess but why so the, the definition is definitely either vessels or merchant vessels. Oh, Argo is an old Greek city. Oh, Argos is, and chips. Ah, uh, yeah, like if you chip a, a mug, you've nicked it. This is going to be populous, I guess. Old man is pop. And a clue confused means to anagram a clue. And this is plumpest. This is orange bowl. There we go. 13 minutes, 10 seconds. Also, they give you a nice funny comic where this psychiatrist or psychoanalyst is doing a crossword. Uh, oh, there's a pop. There's an explanation under each clue. Wow. This is new, I think. Plum plus pest. Ah. Fruit is a plum. And a fly, e.g., is a pest. Are there any other ones that we didn't understand? Maybe we should just go through. Pop Ulysses. Uh, this is so good. I, they didn't. They didn't used to do this. I'm pretty sure the last time. Uh, teens. Final E move to the center of tense. Uh, nervous means tense. Move the back into the middle. Didn't didn't get that one. It's hidden. Uh, orange bowl also. F or plus Ange. Bow, L. Uh, Angel. So Angel is a California baseball player. I think I actually said that. So we have Bow inside of Angel. And heading off four means you take the, the front letter off of four. So you get Orange Bowl. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah, so as you can see, the New York cryptics, I think, are relatively friendly. Um, I'm no cryptic expert, and... I can do them in under 10 minutes-ish if I am not trying to talk through the whole thing. <laughs> Although I don't always understand all of the clues as I do them. Uh, <laughs> so that's, uh, yeah. So hopefully this gives you some way to get into cryptics if you're interested. I actually think they're more fun than crosswords just because every, every step of doing a cryptic is quite hard, whereas crosswords have lots of sort of givens where you just fill stuff in. You need to think about every clue in a cryptic. Um, I also think they're more fun to do with friends because it takes a while to think of everything. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can get into cryptics. You should watch some of those wanted all videos. Those are pretty fun. I also edit out all the hemming and hawing. So I also include a link to every cryptic I do, especially if it's free. So, you know, if you watch one of those Wall Street Journal ones, you could click the link. Try it yourself when you get stuck, watch some video. I don't know, that was the idea anyway. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at some other point for some daily crosswords. See you then.